Okay. It was was not even just Meeman. I really no, thought the Stormblast pick was. We thought that it was not going to work, but you know, first game Elite Wolves, they bring the pasta, and then second game I know they bring the whole damn goddamn bolognese. You know, I think uh, my theory holds true. It's just like the SEA region, man. These teams, they know each other. They've got each other's numbers. Yeah, I mean, it was. I was. I was impressed. I, you know, I said E Wolves would take this a two 0 stomp, and I was. Totally wrong. That that storm performance was insane. Quop kept at the top of the game the whole time, and it was just too much for Elite Wolves to deal with. Yep. And as uh, as Bliss pointed out uh, yeah. during the or during the game, there was just not a lot of lockdown to uh, to go around for uh, for E Wolves. They had they had, they, were, they had the um, what did they have? The embers. Nice little bit of luck down there. I thought the Ember but would be better than it would. It, yeah. it, 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 it didn't work out at the end. There was a couple of nice AA blasts, but they just didn't have the tools to deal with the Storm. No, next to that, Rubik lift, but uh, let's see what we're going to have next game, though, because we, oh, wow. uh, we are already draft. into the draft. It is a Wind Ranger Doom first pick, and then, I mean, four team unknown, Shadow Fiend, Ember, Night Stalker. That's a power lineup straight away. Okay. Slacks, what do you think? <laughs> uh, Don't touch me, Slacks. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's all he said. I don't think Bliss would say that. I mean, you were sitting together on the couch earlier today. He said something today. about Wind Ranger and Night Stalker. See, Blitz is so dedicated to stats right now. He's actually crunching the numbers for tomorrow yeah. so that we can have some top tier statistics. What are the percentage oh, of the win here? Mm. With <laughs> all right. All so right. Same old, same old from some of these sides. I think we've seen most of these heroes in the, the, in the dark, series so far. The Dark Seer em Ember Spirit is like the pick of this series, man. It, it, it is, it's just a like pick, pick of, of the, the week. Thing, yeah. yeah. We're seeing so it's much true. Ember. Some teams just love this hero, and it, it's, it's been true. banned out a fair few times. I've got to be honest, the, the kind of the pick ban rate must be pretty high in terms of the games that we've seen. Yeah. It seems to always be in the draft. It's certainly He certainly was popular. going with the what? Ogre. What I do you make of the Alchemist first ban, by the way? I mean, Alchemist is a good hero. It's a good hero. Okay. Yeah. Could do you want with your thought before? You know. Sorry. I wonder, uh, I wonder if they'll pick a little Lich here, some of that Lich Doom. That's what I said before, but they didn't end up doing it. Because they picked right, the Doom in the first not. game. Oh, okay, Sky, Sky. Okay, okay. okay. So, right. some, some nice silence against little Dark Seer. You know, he's going to try to run away. They're going to hit him with the silence. You know, maybe for the Ember. The amount of burst damage that comes up from that Skywrath Mage pick should be pretty beneficial in this match. Um, with the silence coupled in with that as well. I can yeah, see that why they would pick that up. Uh, the low health, though, is going to be a bit of an issue, especially with the burst damage coming out from the other team, so I would be careful about that coming up in the next match. All right. Let me uh, let me text their their support <laughs> players real quick, guys. <laughs> be careful. Be wary of Night Stalker. Yeah. Good. All right. Absolutely. Night Slug Stalker's says something real high. analytical, and you are instantly <laughs> in front of it. It wasn't me this time. <laughs> uh, point I, I, you know, I can't help it. I can't tell when he's... Just baiting me to make fun of him, and when he genuinely doesn't know the answer and is trying to wrap it in a jokey package. <laughs> Thanks, Iori. Coming up next, I the next pick, the last pick. I do think the silence of the Skyrath Mage is going to be having a big impact on that Ember because, I mean, we just said Ember, one of the more flavors of this uh, this qualifiers. If you want to be able to deal with him, that silence definitely Ooh. is a way. And there's your Rubik, Rubik again. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm still not sold on Ogs McGee. Why? What's wrong with Ogre, my guy? I, I, he just, you know, his mid game. Well, He's got everything a, a team needs. A very high damage uh, W, the Ignite. In fact, yes. did you know that it's the Ignite does damage. more damage than his actual Q overall if you let by the entire du duration go down? Yeah, yeah, by a huge margin. Indeed, indeed. The Ooh, amount of right no. click. Ooh, that's <laughs> fast. That's quick. They Let's picked go. their hairs up real fast. <laughs> Say, in right. one second, say uh, who thinks it's going to win? Who thinks it's going to win? Slacks. Any mage. Team Smash. Team Smash. Mi pastor. Let's see what the casters think. It's time for Moth and Purge for the final match of this series. Thanks so much, guys, and welcome back. We are here with the last game of the day, and uh, it should be a good one. E. Wolves, or Elite Wolves, rather, versus Team Unknown. Two Peruvian squads going head-to-head, -head, and, well, we're going to jump into the game, but before we do, of course, I'm off with me as Purge, and uh, kind of top the turvies. Yeah, I mean, this <laughs> is just nuts. They're just going at each other. 
get into the game so quickly. Oh no! No! no not again! No. I can't handle it, please. <laughs> I kind of wish we had Blitz City in the background of our shot, just playing Hearthstone on his iPad a little bit. I like how he does that for for them, but for us, now we don't get it. Dude, here's all right, here's, here is. Oh, this is good. They could lift him. Is he dead? And the right click? Oh, the body blocks. He's going to try to he eat his way through. Races, I think. Oh, the last right click oh, will no, do the to. job. That was a nice try, eating his way through just to make sure he could try to get out. But this iron shell and this night stalker is just going to work in a known draw early first blood. All right, I was trying to make a point before, you know, chaos started ensuing. And people, no, I keep hearing it. I can't handle it. But anyways, I feel like the key to the series has been silences. Like, okay, who, who could get the most silences, at least in the last game? That, that's what it was all about. Ember Spirit. They're good him up. when you fight a lot, definitely. Yeah. Well, they've got a lot of silences on E-Wolves this game. Skyrath yeah. Mage with Doom Ulti. Doom Ulti is obviously a little different, but yeah. um, it's really good at shutting down Ember Spirit. So that's really what's going to come down to. Can this Doom do really well in the offlane? If he's solo versus an anti-mage, it's not really a good situation. I mean, also, he went Scorch Earth due to that level 1 fight, so his farm is going to be a little bit delayed here. So no AMs, Devour. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not Amber Slim. I'm stupid. That's Ember Spirit. Um, so he's fine. I think this lane is okay for Doom. Then. He should be able to win it. That's all right. A little bit late in the evening. Top lane, AM yeah. going up against the Darkster, as well as the Night Stalker. The good old Iron Shell combo. The Soku be. is in some trouble. He's got Void up in two seconds. Up. They have an Ignite, will slow him down, but the Surge comes forward and... Void, it's just not enough. He needs one more right click and he will get it done. Did he get the kill beforehand? Darkseer did pick up the experience before, of course, the Night Stalker went down. And uh, rather, Darkseer picked up the kill, I should say. And so that trade is beneficial. I, I don't know, giving away kill by sure. Darkseer is... It's not the best. Uh, I mean, it went to anti-mage. I would normally say it's totally cool, but AIM got the kill. Yes. Um, that's going to accelerate him a little bit, and they lost a Scarth Mage who didn't have that much gold to start with since he had died before. Yes. So I don't think that was too awful for E-Wolves there. This this feels a bit more comfortable. I feel like they, they're kind of settled in. They have the Smash Wind Ranger, which did work in that first game. I mean... It sure, he didn't farm were, that but, well, yeah. but it, it was uh, he became a ganky machine once he got some help. They started pushing down towers. Obviously, a different type of lineup with the, the Chen and pushing towers very early, but well, they're going to go for an AM now this time. And it's actually taking a ton of damage. He has to blink away and barely survive. Mid lane, he's looking to put some pressure onto Zetok, and some uphill misses to go as well. Finally, Doom will have Devourer. He'll pick up a Centaur War Runner and have this War Stomp ready to go. But this will leave for now the Ember Spirit to farm safely down in the bottom lane. Check out the double sentry ward that the raiding team put down. They were trying to check for the uphill ward the entire time, but the dire team actually warded more towards the rune spot instead. So it doesn't really give any, much vision at all towards the SF, but that's 200 gold wasted for the raiding team. Mystico might set up a gank here on the dark side. He's a little four though. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's pretty. Spot. That's pretty hefty. And they're not going to go for it just yet. There's all sorts of trees cut throughout these uh, these woods, but. They Van is not really killable, I don't believe, oh. unless they can silence him, but it's level one Night Stalker. And Van puts some pressure and actually stops the Dark Seer from being able to do anything. He's no mana for Surge, no mana for Iron Shell. He threw up the Iron Shell here, and Van has to be oh, careful. He's got no blink, he's done so. And now Zetok as well, still going to work. Finally, will get brought down this concussive shot. Now going to surge himself forward. Body Good blocks, blocks. Oh. Masoku gets it done. Saves his teammate. Misko was able to get the salve off and stay alive. But in the end, it's a trade that is a beautiful trade for Unknown as they take down yeah. the Anti-Mage. Hey, man, they keep doing questionable things. Your anti-mage dying like that is just not worth it, absolutely. He blinked in. He could have just as easily walked in and they could have conch shot and like ignited and maybe they would have been fine. I mean, even after he blinked and pressured the dark suit, the dark suit ran away and then he's like, you know what, let's kill, let's fight Night Stalker instead. But he had an iron shell, he should have realized instantly like, you know what, this is going to be too much damage. Gank on the bot lane. You're going to get this done. Doom is going to pop a Scorch Spirit. Oh, sure. That Fade Bolt doing some work in the Void as well. So Fade Bolt and Void at the same time. So quite a bit of burst damage. They'll bring him down almost instantly. And so the Doom goes down. He'll be dead for only 10 seconds. But Night Stalker is doing so well this game, honestly. He's actually, he's only a level 3 now. But he's been a part of 4 kills. Completely banging, banging any value out of his here. Smashing a little bit of trouble. But sensing that he could get a kill himself. He pops the cell. Even as he's running away, he taunts. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean... He's merciless. Yeah. He must know that it bothers people. This guy, I think this is the first time in my entire life that I want taunts to not exist anymore <laughs> because this guy is just... He actually... He's in the, the area where he uses it too much. There's so many good taunts too, like the Tide Hunter one that I think is excellent. People don't use taunts enough, but this guy uses them way too much is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Definitely true. Gank setting up here for the Dark Street. They can silence him, actually. Prevent the surge. And it is a... Oh, no. Mist goes out of position, so he won't be able to... 
They would need more damage than that. Th the Darkster is also inherently, he's level five now, he's got a stout shield, he's he's got Surge. I mean, the silence would help, and he's pretty close to his tower, it's tough. This is a very potent lane if the Night Stalker comes back up here. It's nighttime, he doesn't have Crippling Fear though, that would be uh, what, exactly what they need to gank this Anti-Mage. He does have one point spell shield, and that one point is going to be pretty helpful against the Iron Shell, against the Void. And he He's still top of the net worth, even after that death. They haven't really pressured him that much, but... I mean, it's not really the Darkster's job. The Darkster's job is get farm, let me get that mech up, let me get that wall up, and let me see what I can do, but... Well, it's pressure this game. With the Night Stalker, it's a very good dual lane. Yes. It's a cool little combo that they're doing. We haven't really seen this that much in other scenes. The Night Stalker, pretty tanky. Um, very good to save level one. He might be in trouble. Night Stalker's gonna come in, but it looks like this is already too late. The Void actually stops him from being able to hit that Darkster. He'll be able to surge into the trees. Van is almost dead again. He bottles up. He have a bottle? He's got a blink. <laughs> and that was the exact question I was about to ask myself. <laughs> so where's this bottle coming from? Oh. I was like, is that a control click? How do the supports have that much money? Doom just casually TP stop. He's like, ah, bottom's a lost he cause. He kinda had to. That was like a potential triple kill that might have just happened here. Unfortunately, he's not able to refill Anti-Mage's bottle. Let me let me ask Why you a question. A let me ask you a question. Okay. Does it feel like Dark Seer is easy mode in some of these games? I no. feel. I guess it depends on who you're planning with and who you're playing with. But mechanics-wise, the hero is straightforward. You yes. put iron shells down. You sometimes surge people. But it's about understanding the strengths of your opponents when they're stronger than you, when they're weaker than you. Yes. And he's doing That's that fair. very well this game. He's two zero and one as an off lane. He's absolutely creating pressure on e wolves. It's making a big difference. Evan here. Possible questionable items on the Ember Spirit, again, questionable items on Anti-Mage. By getting the bottle, yes, it helps him out against the Iron Shell, but... Ooh, gank on here on Doom. He's Boy, actually in a lot go. of trouble. The Iron Shell is up and ready to fight, and, and Singer's just done. He does get... Ooh, oh. wow, that center stomp, I was going to say, he gets that off, but I don't know if that was going to save him. I thought that last Iron Shell take was going to go through and bring him down. He gets bottled up probably by the AM. Then he runs back into the Night Stalker, then back to the tower. Fumbling around just to find any place he can go. And there is Misko mid. Shackle shot just barely out of range. The power shot goes as well, and Blank will take the brunt of the damage, but the, the roam does not work out in favor of Misko. He actually smokes in. He's going to head, what, to, around to the Dyer's SF again, I think, most attack. likely. But now they're converging on top. Silence is going to go there. It's a void as well. They have the damage. The shell vacuum back, and another kill on the AM. Bottle does not save you there, my friend. Iron shell. Right clicks, silences, all that stuff just beats AM so hard. Two deaths on him now. His net worth cannot be good. Damn it, stop looking, man. I don't want to hear that. Dyer's <laughs> top tower is under attack. Pimp, I swear to God. <laughs> AM's net worth not sitting very well. Yeah, no, it's it's uh it's not great. He he was actually top in the net worth for or rather top in the CS for a while, but the Ember Spirit Dyer's has since eclipsed that. He's gotten free farm. This Doom has not been anywhere near this Dyer's lane. There's no ganking. I mean, this is uh, an Ember Spirit's wet dream. He can honestly just sit down there and farm for Radiant's days. It feels like he can use attack. the jungle if he wants. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're all the while making space top lane. They're gonna keep going, but here we go. Am finally jumping in. Look at that ancient seal and the arcane bolt going to work for Masoku. Finally turning something around. It is, um, you know, it's a Rubik, so it's not that big of a deal, but uh, they still, a kill's a kill. The problem is that they have to rotate almost every hero up there in order for that to be successful. Also, that Rubik has 600 net worth, so killing a hero like Shadow Fiend or Ember Spirit would be way better. They've got 3k net Even worth. Even the Night Stalker, what's his net worth, actually? Or, or the Darkseer, one of those two. Okay, 1800. Darkseer's seen a little bit under 3k. I mean, the Darkseer would actually, I think, be pretty big for them. But it's so it would be, but it's hard. Especially when three three heroes keep showing up randomly. It must be so hard to just passively farm this game. You just know that your allies are going to get killed if you if you don't cover them all the time. Especially after the past two games. Yeah, Am even bought power treads here before his Battle Fury. So he, he feels the pain, man. Is that is it that unexpected? I usually see him bring health into treads and then into Battle Fury. Well, that, that seems that's more kind common. of the thing, really. Like, he, he doesn't have super good sustained mana. He got a bottle, so every two minutes or so, he has to go to the top rune to try to grab a rune. He just doesn't have very good lane sustain unless... I, I don't know what this guy's going to build at this point, because last game he built something very weird, but he could definitely build some weird things. On the AM, like not a Battle Fury. Maybe he'll go Vlad's first. I don't, I don't know, Dyer's but I feel like he hasn't has quite dealt denied. with this, this Darkseer thing. Like a bottle is 700 gold. You can buy Ring of Health, and it's 875. I have a point I want to make, and I'll get to it later. But there might be a, a potential. Oh, you're just gonna like hype us up for this well, point? There's a gank happening. Detox is getting caught out. There's an ancient seal. He's gonna get fire blast. He's gonna die. I mean, that's it. All right, continue. All right, so here's my point. 
Right. Well, it's not really a point, but it was a funny story. Not even a funny story. It's kind of an Just anecdote. get to it. <laughs> I'm just doing this to piss you off. So Fear was at one point playing a pub game on a stream a while ago. Okay. And he was discussing the possibilities of Battle Mage. And he okay. went like Vanguard, Treads, and then okay. I can't even... He, I think he went Manta after that or something like that. Needless to say, he lost. And then he just said... Yeah, this was a shit idea. I'm sure this is wrong. I remember um, there was a there was a Russian team that I casted. It was with either Carl Guy or Mond. It was a long time ago, and the AM it was right when Crimson Guard came out, and the AM went like treads Crimson Guard, and it actually kind of worked. It was pretty cool. I feel like I remember a game like that. I don't remember what other items he got. I think he got Manta. I'm sure. Manta was just too good. Smash, smash in trouble. He's got a 14 charge stick though. This would be a big kill. Smash has uh, as yet been touched. I mean, they've, they've really focused on the anti-mage and, and even the Doom to a certain extent, but Smash has really, he's gotten good farm for the most part. He hasn't died. He's got phase 700 gold in the bank. It's not the best, but he's keeping his team afloat. They even have some good stacks here in the jungle as well. They're he's getting really outfarmed by Unknown though. Yep. 84 last hits on Ember Spirit. Oh, he is very low. Oh. He's gonna have to remnant away right now. He's got to bottle up. He's actually gonna try Hadouken. to do this. What is he? Hadouken. Oh. The is juice? Just ulti is he just? How oh, is he not dead? Okay. Did he just scorch okay. Just kills him. Yeah, scorch is good, man. Did he have any mana? He didn't have mana to remnant. I'm sure was the issue. Or I don't I, know. I would. Yeah, he didn't. If you look at his activate fire remnant, he doesn't have mana. On yeah. Him, so. I was wondering. I was like, why are you not? He's like, okay, Ember's not in lane. He's got to be in the jungle. Let's go look for him. Cause he knew if he was vaguely low, he could just doom with scorch earth and chase him down. That's he, actually such a huge kill. I think yeah. too. I, how much? I, I didn't check the, uh, the thing, let's but let's see. Five hundred eighty-four gold. There for. is a hand of Midas recipe on it, on the courier, so he's got Midas now. He's probably doing the best for his team. I feel. I mean, Smash is doing very well, but he doesn't have a Midas. No, doesn't no, have two not. Midases. Let's be real. Is this the beginning of a four staff for the Wind Ranger? She picks up a staff of wizardry. Could be eggs. Um, I think a four staff is definitely possible when you're dealing with silences as well as Siren chains because. Yeah. If you're not moving for three seconds, it's a really dangerous thing against a, a hero that can double raise you. God, Pimp is getting a workout with this series. He's all over the goddamn place. I'll be honest, I do not do not attack. envy his position currently. A couple of TPs bottom, they'll smoke up and they'll head towards either the Roche Pit or they're going to try to find the Ember in the jungle like again. Guy, if they can get it. This Ember, he went bots first, so... I, did they see him? He's got some movement speed. He's going to see Smash real soon. Oh. Does he have a remedy? He's going to use it because the shot will hit. I don't know if he's still going to be able to get out. He has to, oh, oh that Ancient sounds. Seal just catches the range. Shot to shot. Oh, he's going to latch. They have the Focus Fire? No. Power Shot and the Fire Blast. This should do enough. He gets the remnant off, but he does go down in the end. But here, maybe even some return fire. They have uh, Greedy up on. All right, never mind. The Dark Seer just gets doomed up. Van what? rotates in. Where'd he come from? Why is Anti-Mage here? <laughs> why is he in the bottom jungle? All right, this is one way that Bottle is actually great on AM, and those if you get an Illusion Rune, it's like you have a Manta style at the start of the game. He doesn't have that much Mana Drain levels with Mana no, Breaking, right. but it's really strong He's there. still got some decent damage with those Illusions. Yeah. I'm, uh, okay, I guess it worked. I can't believe he was there. I was like, wow. Well, that was the last year. They just five man the enemy jungle. It's so hard to keep track of all these heroes in this game. Night Stalker's constantly roaming around. Dark Sir is doing is doing the same thing. Smash feels like he's in lane a lot, but Van will we're gonna ignore it. Van's just gonna go back up towards top lane, and it does kind of make it a bit safer, I think, without that tier one tower, as long as they have some really good defensive wards. But there's also this aggressive ward placed here on the radiant side. A node could maybe head into the enemy jungle with a smoke, try to find something, and, and go from there. Yeah, that's actually one thing that you can do when you're losing really bad is go jungle in their jungle instead. Yep. Or just go hang out there with your whole team. That's what Envy does all the time. Yeah. Wait till you can guess about where their wards are. If they're destroying you in the jungle, keep ganking you there. You know that they've got wards there probably. If they're anywhere near a reasonable team. Shift to their jungle, play aggressive there. Kill the Ember Spirit multiple times. He's died twice now. He's got the typical build, BOTs. So lets him fight with high, without having to just run across the map and chance that the gank misses. Mm -hmm. And AM is on his way towards his battle fury now. It's definitely going to be late, but he's recovered a little bit. Uh, considering what happened in lane, I, I think he's okay with it. And yeah. battle fury will allow him to farm He's got to farm faster than the Ember Spirit most. Well, I mean, I guess the bots do allow him to, to farm pretty quickly I mean, himself, but uh, the big thing is he doesn't have that Battle Fury yet, and AIM is one of the fastest farmers in the game. Yeah. Maybe short of Valk after we've seen attack. what he can do in this particular tournament. So there's a couple of tickets stop, by the way. The Ember Spirit's got to be up here. They have the Dark Spirit as well. The Lawnmower, as Zero calls attack. it, you can put the Iron Shell on the Ember Spirit and then have him just go to work, but that's not going to be the case. He's just going to steal AIM's farm. 
And the tier one's already dead, so it's very easy for Ember Spirit to pressure like this. Only thing he really has to worry about is, like, Skyrath Mage plus one ganks. I'm not completely sure if I like this Sky build this game. In almost all games, I, I like Maxine Arcane Bolt. I think it's the better build. Yep. But against an Ember Spirit, like, he's so evasive if he gets on silence for any bit of time. Uh oh. I hear a silence, and I it's hear Doom. Doom getting caught out. He's buying out, he's though. He's very tanky. Yeah, he, he bought what did he buy here? Mech recipe and a Hedges recipe. The Shadow Fiend will pick up the kill, which is probably the last year you want to give it to, and that'll put him even closer to his SMY, but. Fairly close game, actually. I mean, the, the, the cool thing about this game is that it can go either way once this anti-mage gets his Battle Fury. And Smash, it depends on how involved he becomes. He might be the X-Factor here for E-Wolves. He could be, yeah. Shackles are going to be really big. It's another good way to lock down Ember Spirit. He went Force, by the way. I don't know if you already touched on okay. that. Yeah, that was my guess. I did, I did not talk about it. I think it's all right. His levels are quite high. Winter Ranger has a good strength gain, so her survivability is all okay for this position. But I, I definitely think she'll go the typical eggs build afterwards. Sanji Nothing Yasha. surprising there. That's the SMY now done for the Shadow Fiend. He also has a double damage rune bottle up, so this is probably the perfect time to fight, although the Doom did pick up his mech. Both teams feeling strong right now. Does the Darkseer have one? He does, but he's gonna get shackled. Silence up, Mystic Flare, the right clicks. He'll stay alive, gets the mech off barely. And now, look at this, Doom, Telkinesis. He'll mech Whoa. himself, but that's just nothing. He didn't get Doom off. And SNY proc on Ogre, he's in trouble. Smash, Void, not there. Mana Void trying to get caught, but no. It finally gets off, but only gets one kill with the Power Shot combination coming up from Smash. Great. Great searing chains from the TP man himself, Kotaro Oyama, helping out his squad, making sure that anti mage goes down quickly. He died almost instantly after getting involved in that fight. That is a huge win for Unknown. It would have been so different if the Darkseer died. I think they were still going to lose the fight because they were overextended a bit, but Doom may not have gotten blown up as fast. He may have gotten his Doom off. I, I just think that E-Wolves wasn't quite ready to start that engagement. It was like they were still teleporting in and walking to the fight. So they ha saw the opportunity. The Skyrath went for it. Smash kind of committed, and the rest of the heroes tried to catch up. And it just turned to them getting slaughtered one by one. I, this is where I wish I had looked at the, the re fight recap, because the Shadow Fiend did have his Requiem. Number one, he had a double damage rune. Oh, really? Jeez. Uh, or, uh, you know, Mod Packs. He just kill. Yeah, he's going to just run after me, so he'll actually force out a TP. But, you know, like, Mod Packs would just look at the combat log and tell me how much damage he actually did. But um, I'm sure it was a metric, you know, F ton, so they clearly won the fight. They get a Yasha up on uh, Kotaro Hayama again, and uh, more interesting builds. No Battle Fury, but I get, there's a lot of fighting this game, so I don't really mind it again. And there's also the silences, which we talked about. He really shouldn't have died in that fight, though. Like, he jumped in and ulti to Doom, or a, a Shadow Fiend. He's got a mana pool with on everything. That's a Mystic Flare going, and they take down the Shadow yeah. Fiend immediately, and they're even going to silence up with Shimiki. Slide of Fist, Siri Chase, but Soku will be one to die. Miss Ko might be the second as well, but here's the triple remnant. Miss Ko getting caught out. Great shackle shot stolen by the Rubik. Smash in trouble. No win run. Finally pops it off. Thor step forward. Look at the damage from Flame Guard and the just freaking run power of Zetok with the void. He's Ring around the Rosie. Eh, it's not going to work. One hero goes one way, the other goes the other, and eventually he's run out of space to ruin to get through. Advance gonna come in, he's gonna try to find a mana void, he will, okay. but it's not enough damage, the tower will clean it up. Oh, An ultra bottle. kill coming out from the side of the Ember Spirit. He does go down in the end. Van, kinda low on mana, there's the oh, silence, that's a five hit. second one. They have the oh Iron Shell, God, the double dead. Iron Shell. He's gonna maybe uh, barely maybe. make it out. Oh, the wall yes. replica down on the dirt. The anti-mage will fall yet again. Can Ogre get here in time? He can, will he spot him? Uh, nope. Oh, the TP in the trees. My best Craig Asimant, uh, uh interpretation. Well, interpretation. AM bought out at least before he died, but that's AM dying again. His last hits are actually pretty amazing. Oh, he's a full battle fury now, I guess. Considering how many times he's died here, his last hits are okay. But I guess it is 18 minutes into the game. Just these games always seem so peculiar. They're not standard at all. We can't even look at normal item timings because they just run at each other no, all right. the time. I, and and that's, not, that's not necessarily just for Peruvian or South America Dota. It's also for North America Dota as well. This is... This is something we see pretty standard. I guess North American Dota has gotten more standard over the years, but... That's fun. That's why I like doing this. That's why I like casting. Everyone's like wondering why I get so excited about casting this type of Dota. You're seeing it here, Kevin. Because they just they run do each other. questionable things all the time. Yeah. May or may not be good. The meta hasn't quite evolved to this way. So, I mean, some people really pride themselves on watching top tier Dota and be like, that was an amazing play. <laughs> what are you saying? I just love people running at each other and, and all chat and mistakes and hold that thought. There's going to be a, a nice jackal. Mystic Flare, he had his flame guard on, but it gets broken pretty quickly and he gets blown up by that. That's such a good ganking trio. 
Like, how do you... Like, that, that would kill basically any hero in the game. It doesn't matter who they are. Anti-mage, you've got a silence, you've got nuke damage, you've got shackles and power shots. And you focus. have to have godlike reactions. It's so good. Yeah, he, he would basically have to have a flame set up. And he actually hasn't been having remnant charges set up. I think this yes. is a big mistake from yes. him. He's been saving them. But, like, yeah, you do. You only have one skill point in it, so it does 100 damage. Maybe you can use it more often in fights, but put one down somewhere by behind a tower. That yes. way, as soon as you see somebody, you press your key and you're gone. Because that's the only solution he has against these setups. I think he wants to save for the stuff. triple remnant uh, jump in. It's not worth it. Like, I agree. It's I agree a with very you. rare thing. I, I think it's definitely a mistake for him not to go for this. They're going to try to defend this tower. It's gone already. They're going to doom up this Dark Seer, and he might die yet again. Here's going to be the Requiem. The doom going to work. The last right click they'll do, get the job done. Another Requiem flying through. That's actually the first one. He canceled the other one. They get the double kill up on the blank space himself. The Soku will TP away. The wind run coming up from Smash. So it turns into a two for one. Uh, Darks are going in to get hey, the okay, Doom. Oh, wow. That was sick. Words eaten. <laughs> Smash just got obliterated. He was only yeah. going to get him if he had three there, yeah, to yeah. be honest. But how often do you see that? Come on. Come on. Kotaro Ayama, the legend. I guess so, man. <laughs> but getting a kill is not worth trading for dying when you're playing a carry. So I'm going to say that I'm still right. Okay. Stuck in your old ways. My old ways of watching people way better than me play Ember Spear the same way, and I'm just. Or, Dude, you I'm just, just you need to you them. need to just relax, learn to take a joke, oh, having yeah. some fun with this SA Dota. I just want them all to win. Is that so wrong? I just want them all to play their roles perfectly, and then I can talk about that. The beauty's in the chaos, Purge. Trust that's me. True. I guess that's true. That's it's true. I've cast many and then I go to match. And I say go to match. Shadow you don't Fiend. know what's going to happen next. <laughs> Definitely not. Shadowfiend picking up an Aegis here. Two fights for him. Anti-Mage already up to his Yasha, so... Very soon he's going to have his Manta style. He's also got more levels of Spell Shield over stats. I think that's a bit of a mistake as well. Mm. I know there's a lot of magic damage coming out of Unknown, but... At some point, I'm sure stats is better than an extra 8% of Spell Shield. Yeah, I, I I think I agree with you. Especially with the... There is some pure damage coming out of Unknown in the, the form of the Urn. He's been getting Urned a lot. Urn is one of the best items against Anti-Mage in the early game. Stats helps against that. Spell Shield does not. So you would actually level the stats over the Mana Break? Uh, Maybe not Mana Break, especially when he's getting close to Manta. But I, I would probably stop Spell Shield at maybe 2 or 3. Yeah, I think The 4th level, I think, is unnecessary. What does it give you? 34%? I mean, it increases pretty rapidly with each level. And not really. It's 8%. 8% uh, per level. Yeah. Like, the 42 to the 50. It's such a small percentage increase. Whereas if he gets a stat level, he gets 2 damage. He gets 38 HP. When you've only got 950 HP, like... Increases your illusion damage by a little Dyer's bit, gives you more mana pool. I guess it doesn't matter if he's not fighting, but the thing is, he is fighting. He's going in fights, he's trying to get mana voids off, so... Yeah. I, I, it doesn't make sense to build... I, I guess he wants to survive in those fights, I suppose. Well, we could debate it all day. Who, who really knows what's going on in Van's head right Dyer's now? Probably, I need to get my Mantis style. They're pushing my tier 3 tower, or about to. Yeah. We need to do something. And Ember's got really good items right now. DD with Amanta. And he's got BOT, so he's got naturally running too. super fast. Yep. Is under attack. He's Smash. got the triple remnant ready to go. Smash about 800 away from his eggs. That's when he gets scary. So for now, Van should probably just split push, and that's what he's doing. Or not. Nope, he's waiting around. So this game is definitely, you know, it's still in the hands of Elite Wolves, right? I mean, the, the anti-mage might not be able to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, 1v5, but... He's going to provide a significant boost when he gets a man style, maybe another item as well. Yeah, I think they're in an okay place, honestly. And, and, oh, the Doom is also especially important. What is he going for now? He has a blink already, so he wants to be involved in initiating. Probably eggs, but he needs mana right now, because he, he got mech without uh, arcane boots. That's right. So he has huge mana problems. That's very uncommon. But once he gets eggs, it's fine. So that's basically the trade-off. He gets more armor early. It's a bit more survivable. He did waste Scorched Earth, though. So 30-second cooldown on that spell. Finally, looks like some objectives are being taken, or at least being postured for, as the unknown are heading towards the mid lane. Manta style has been completed now for the anti mage. How did he get that so fast? <laughs> Your was, guess is as good as mine. He got that in like four minutes after his battle fury was finished. It was pretty incredible. It felt pretty. Smash just walks into the wrong neighborhood. Telkinesis, his just wind run is still there. They oh. zoom up the dark seer. Could they turn this fire blast He's going alive. through the requiem? But it's not close enough to anybody to do any real damage. Oh, he died. Oh, this slide of fist doing more than enough to bring him down, and now Van. 
He's pretty much the only one here that can do anything. They're, they're going to lose their tier 2 tower because of this. The Doom was good, but just a, didn't do enough damage. They didn't have to... I think he did Requiem. Yeah, yeah he did, but he just didn't touch anybody. If if that wouldn't have been Smash running uphill and take, losing all of his life at the start, they could have won that fight. The Doom was good on the right target. This goes going to die on the right side now. This Not is where it all falls apart. Him. No way it ends like this. And again, Doom uses a Scorched Earth. That was not the time to use it. Uh, they're just going to lose ranks here, I think. Yeah, Dyer's I think so too. There's no way they can defend this. This is one of those times where I don't like the chaos. I wanted to see this game go on a bit longer. I mean, it still could easily, but this yeah. this, this racks going down is... Uh, I also... Here. AM is farming the jungle, man. He should be split pushing. Now. As soon as they started losing that fight, he should have headed straight to the bot lane. There you go. Now he's cutting the mid wave, but it's kind of late for that. That one fight alone... Boosted them up about 4,000 to 5,000 net worth. Got an Aghanim Scepter for Z-Talk. Uh, finished off the Butterfly for Blank. Glimmer Cape, I think, was already built on uh, Greedy, the, the Darkseer. Picked up a Blink Dagger for Hoshi Miki. I'm, I'm not sure if he had that beforehand. Essentially, the gist of it is that an Observer Ward there on the high ground could have saved them a full set of racks and uh, made sure they didn't get that many items on Unknown's side. And now Unknown look like they're in the driver's seat here. And, and there's still that capability for the Anti-Mage to just go and do work with the help of his squad. He can, yeah. They can gank, definitely. But with, the, with your melee racks being down, you're getting so much less gold for the rest of the game. The lane pressure is there. It leaves somebody on your team that has to basically sit in a vulnerable position where your opponents know where you are. I, I think one lane of racks is not the worst thing. And I, yeah, that's... Don't okay. like that at all. They really... He really needed an eggs, honestly. The HP it gives you, the mana pool that it gives you. It feels like they're shying away from fighting, and instead they're going towards, okay, let's just try to stay alive in these situations until the anti-mage gets big. That's what it feels like to me. But they shouldn't get initiated on the first place. Like, I guess I guess you're right. Like, force would prevent him from dying a little bit in terms of ganks, but even still, the eggs... Like, now he's got a, he's got three items, and is it four items in his inventory now oh that costs 2,000 gold? Like, he's going to very quickly have to start selling these things. This Doom is no longer going to want to Doom the Darkseer. Or he'll just Doom another target. This Darkseer is really farmed. He's played really well this game. Uh, that aggro dual lane did so much work. It wasn't even an aggro dual lane. It was like a roaming night stalker. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It, I would define it more as roaming than... Because he sat mid for a very long time. It worked out really well. It's a cool combo. But there were many instances Darkseer. that they just went to work and they got a couple of kills, and that provided more than enough farm. But Unknown looking to try to fight here, and the E-Wolves that want nothing to do with it. And they might lose a support or two. It looks like they'll lose just the one who gets blown up within seconds because he's a freaking Skyrath mage. But It's good silence, but, you know, Shadow Pink can just right-click him twice. He's a butterfly now, too. Yep. Ugh. Now he really wishes Rubik's that he had Rubik's going eggs. for what I imagine would be an Aghanim Scepter. Does uh, oh, Doom Eggs so would reduce evasion rate. It does break. Yes. Doom Eggs does, but regular Doom does not, I believe. Yes, so you're correct in that. Again, the, the eggs... Oh, wait, are you talking about for items? Does it disable items? Does it mute? I don't think it mutes items. I only think it... Well, it'd have to be break. I think it's mute, not break. That, that whole change to that, that ability confused the hell out of yeah, me. I'll have the recheck. Wall casters don't know mechanics of Dota 2. Like a million mechanics. It's okay, Mark. I'll defend you. Nice. Lotus Orb. Oh, oh that ain't seal. He, yeah, he just silenced himself. They're actually just going to die the tier four. Goes for the Doom. He's going to have to mech himself here. He already used it. Mystic Flare swinging a miss. Anti Mage has got to come to this fight. And they're just going to go to the tier three tower. They're kind of low, but they're going to get Urn charged up. The, the mech is off cooldown in 53 seconds. Tier three tower is gone. They glyph a little bit late. And now TP back. Smash is going to get caught out. They'll get Searing Chains four steps away. They can still do this. They can still defend. The range racks is probably going to fall. However, maybe. Vacuum Wall, beautifully done. Slide of Vist, and that might be it. Stinger barely survives, but only for a moment longer. Oh, he buys back. Van going to work. Big okay. Mana Void. He gets two. Might get the third with Z-Talk. Shadow Fiend gets the Requiem off. The damage reduction is there. Z-Talk now getting chased down by Stinger. A couple more right clicks, including the level death, will do the job. Oh, what a shackle. They get the racks anyways. I mean, yeah, they defend in terms of we got all the kills, but still, they lose a bottom set of racks. This SF still going to work. The race type, he gets an extra kill, and he might get the third. It's the flutter. Get out of the way, little creep. He hit his blink. He could have blinked away. Oh, man. Oh, all right. He deserves that one. Yeah. He deserved that one. That we got the guys moving it up in the background. We got the panel. 
He deserves it. Yo, he he pretty much held that down. That would have been like a four for nothing, four for one, and he ends up getting two kills at the end. It's so big. Yeah, it's uh, some impressive play coming out from the Shadow Fiend. I really feel like Anti Mage should have done the split pushing earlier. Yes. Like he traded the tier two when they were going high ground on his base, and also the Doom didn't need to use Doom then. Save it until the fight starts. You know, it looked like a we're losing the fight. Let's throw Doom. You can't have that kind of I don't know what's the word mentality. Yeah, something defeatist like that. Defeatist mentality, almost. Eh, it, I don't even know if it's defeatist. It was more like, you have, you have to have that organization. Organize with your team. This is the strongest way to win the fight. Put anti-mage split pushing. Wait until you're ready to fight, and then you guys fight. Yeah, he, he jumped in doomed, and then he immediately got caught out. I don't think he died. But... He didn't die, but it's like, okay, you stopped the Darkseer from casting Iron Shell for 20 seconds, and you lost and, your And he eventually got the wall and vacuum off anyway, so it didn't yeah. matter. You got to save that for when, you're, when your anti-mage finally shows up. Maybe it was frustration. Maybe it was... Poor communication, but you got to be reserved with your spells. You have to use them in the right time, and that was not the right time. Yeah. Just uh, two very costly mistakes. Well, that not being one of them, but what led to essentially their racks being destroyed. And it's turned this game kind of on its head. There's going to be a silence. He'll Manta it off. He can actually maybe try to turn on Zetok, but with the rest of the, the enforcements coming in, reinforcements rather, coming He's got in. Doom. Oh, look at this smoke coming through. I like it. Oh, Doom him. Does that disable taunts? I bet it does. Yeah, I'm almost positive it should. And if it doesn't, well, probably only when you it. get eggs, though, right? <laughs> Have to buy eggs to disable the taunt. That's just it's a slap in the face. Oh, they got a nice talk. Z talk. He is very tanky. He's still not dead. There's going to be the Requiem on the backside, too, and they just blow up the oh, Doom. Smash is stuck. He's doomed as well, but it doesn't matter. Van going to have to blink away. They're looking for more. Smash is going to be able to win run out. He's got his Force in 12, but it's it's too late. His win run's off. They caught him out with the Ember Spirit. We now have his Battle Fury. He's meant to style as well. Misoku will TP away. They have the buyback on the Wind Ranger. They buy back on the Dar uh, Night Stalker, rather, and they want to finish this game off within the next couple of moments here, it looks like. But... Uh, they, they can buy back they the Wind Ranger. They have Darkseer, Vac Wall, Iron Shell... Mech, he's gotten he has in his entire kit with the exception of vacuum for like six seconds. Ember doesn't have any ultimates for five seconds, so smash vacuum, in trouble. Or rather, not vacuum, there's gonna be the void, and smash can't afford to die here. And well, that's a die back. Van's gonna have to go big, he'll find one, and it's a Rubik. That's an easy target, but can he get the rest of them? And it looks like that's a no, that's a goddamn no. Van's gonna have to get back the urn, ticking him down, he'll die to this last Does hit. so much. And oh. he can't even make it into the he's base. So Gem on the deck. That is going to be it. It looks like he actually buys back to try to keep this going. But the Ember Spirit going to work. Van versus the Ember. Kotaro Hayama, as well as Blank, playing their freaking minds out. The supporting casting crew doing so much work as well. They'll take the last set of racks. It looks Doom getting destroyed by the right click of the Shadow Fiend, doing almost 300 damage. And that's Megas in a nutshell. That Van, is a the best last of three. Of, that's it. That was a. You know, it escalated pretty quickly. Great game, great series overall. I have to say, I, I shouldn't call GG because they haven't GG'd out yet. And, well, I was just kidding. Yes, Mont, they did. This is this is a time to be defeatist. It yeah. is over. It is over. Unknown is going to take it two to one. This taunting bastard after all that, no items. Who would have thought, man? Elitist Wolves have a, a track record of brilliant defeats, great play, and being ever so close. And it's not like they're out of the tournament yet, so they still have another shot at this kind of thing, but... Team Unknown come in here, and on the back of, I talked a lot about Blank, and I talked a lot about um, TP, or Kotara Hayama, but it was really the Darkseer, I think, in this particular game, and the Night Stalker doing a fantastic job, and they they got uh, they got shit stomped in that first game, Yeah. and they came back, and they just, they held it together. Great they just, place for they them. They just played a little bit better. I, I feel like E-Wolves threw a lot of laning things, they, they just... Their mentality was run at them until somebody dies. And many times it was the anti-mage dying. And they didn't need to make those trades. It happened too much. Um, and they, they were just a little too uncoordinated in some positions. Yes. They didn't use their spells effectively. Yep. And that just adds up over the course of the game and it leads to you losing. So maybe it worked really well the first game. But the first game felt really reserved. It felt organized. It felt like they were ganking. But two and three, I feel like they played much, much worse. That second game, it, it almost felt like they were on tilt with some of the decisions they were making, and Unknown were able to capitalize on that pretty easily, and the third game kind of just... It maybe, unwound from that aggressive dual lane slash roaming and Night Stalker. So. Maybe they messed around because they won game one so bad or something. Who knows? But it, even if it is only like one or two ganks where you're laughing with your friends and getting a kill, when you, which ends up being turned, that can be enough to just lose you a best of three. Yep, and momentum going in favor of Unknown. They'll move on. They'll face up against the winner of Cloud9 versus Digital Chaos. I'm sure everyone's looking forward to that one. So...
Um, with that being said, I think that's it for us here tonight. Again, this is Mott and Purge, and uh, we'll see you guys later. What a series that was. After a storm from game one, we kind of kind of had a, a series on our hands, an actual real series. We, we did? did lose some we people, did. though. We did, I, they probably didn't realize we were coming back straight <laughs> to us. They're probably watching it on the TV now in the room going... Well, they're probably they, no, actually, they're probably at their PCs watching the game with the five-minute delay. Yes. They'll be here in five minutes. They'll be here in five minutes and be like, oh, damn, they're already live. But anyway, what a <laughs> series, as the guys were saying. Um, it was it was kind of insane that in the first game, Elite Wars won incredibly <laughs> convincingly. It was, it was what, 19-1? It was a stomp. It was, it was a game that was less than, what, 25? It was ridiculously yeah. stompy. And then after that, game two, Unknown looked pretty damn good, and Elite Wars were kind of a little bit shaky. And then this game, they just played... Absolutely better in pretty much every aspect. There was a point where I think it was just having like the Lotus Orb and the Dark Seer. You know, every time Smash was trying to get him with the shackles, he just couldn't use them on the Ember Spirit because Ember Spirit was just having free reign around the fights. The Anti Mage, it was a very aggressive Anti Mage. I mean, yeah. remember those bits in the Rainy Jungle where he was already fighting and it was working out early on, but then it got to the stage where there was just more farm on the core heroes of the uh, the side of the Radiant and an unknown did it 2 1. Um, 2 -1. And I'm impressed. I'm uh, impressed. And I think that someone at uh, Dat Dota and people that want to check out stats from the qualifiers yeah. is going to be really sad. Okay. Because the Shadow Fiend dropped all his items on the floor before the end screen. So there won't the be. And did. a few of the yeah. heroes did. They, they so they won't the actually stats. properly register. By the way, I love Shadow, the Shadow Fiend. Fiend. He used this taunt so many times. It's it so good. fun. It's and reminding me how fantastic the taunts are. I need to start using taunts. He was walking away from <laughs> the doom. just shaking his head like that. He was walking away from the doom don't. saying, you know, <laughs> can't catch me now. It's good. It's a good taunt. Yeah. But the Shadow Fiend did play really nicely as well. At the end, I mean, it, yeah. he did some ridiculous kind of stat on the scoreboard at the end, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. It was just... Chasing people around, making Lots basically being a solo cleanup crew. Yeah, is, uh, I, I is think what the, the kind of the cinch as well was there was lots of fights where he was he was so close to dying, but they just they couldn't quite finish him off. He, was he only died once that doesn't. game, that yeah, entire it game. Was, it was really those taunts were that. were on point. He was allowed yeah. to do those. So uh, as in sometimes if you're feeding, you can't do those. No, no, no. Because no. then it's just you I know, mean, he, he just missed the, the start point. when he, he was, it was looking pretty rocky. I think it was what still into about twelve minutes. It was like eight to nine. You know, it mm -hmm. was by no means were unknown storm in the game from the start. It was kind of just from the mid to the late game onwards they got ahead, and then it was just pretty much impossible for uh, for uh, the side of um, Smash and the Lads to get themselves back into the game, which is yeah. kind of what we saw in game two. You know, the start it was a little bit rocky, but then the, the you know the uh, was the storm spray and the quap got out of control, they were playing from ahead, and it's just so hard to play behind when you're against those it two is. cores. Yeah. But fans from Elite Wolves, have no fear. No. You can see them again today, actually, because they'll be playing the loser of the next series, which is Cloud9 versus Digital Chaos. Now, that series, however, we won't be covering, unfortunately. Are we not? We are not, we because, because Mott didn't... Find a co-caster. Ah, oh, poor man. And he was kind of like, he well, was, he's been I here for a long time. I think everyone wants to go home here. The production, yeah. they've been working their backsides yeah. off. You know, we, we've we got to let them have a break. Um, but so we'll yeah. be back. We'll be back. You, you, at, which, what are we back at, for? At 4 a.m. 4 a.m. There will the be either, we, we the, like, we're going to let the casters choose at that time. Okay. They can jump into the game that's going on at that point, which is probably going to be Elite Wolves versus the loser of uh, Cloud9 versus Digital Chaos. That's going to be a good match. Uh, uh, or they can cast the together. Chinese qualifiers. Uh, not, not quite, yeah, the, the Chinese, Chinese qualifiers. Play, the uh, they the have tiebreakers, actually. The tiebreakers. Okay. So I think they're both going to be pretty interesting games. I guess it's just going to be up to you yeah, who's in at 4 a.m. Do we know who's casting the first series? Yeah. For the people at home? I'd, I'd have to look. It's at not my me. I'm telling you, I'm not coming in at four. I think it's. I'm coming uh, in at I think it's Toby and Cap. Toby and Cap. Oh, well, there you go. That's it's, Yeah. It's not hundred percent sure, but I think so. Toby was telling us he's been doing his research on the Chinese team, yes. so he'll probably want to go with the Chinese tiebreaker. Which I think, I think they're both going to be equally as exciting. A bit of the American action, a bit of the Chinese action. So, do tune in for that. Yeah, should um, be really good. That'll be coming up, and then after that, of course, tomorrow. What else have we got? We have uh, got the playoffs for the European qualifiers that continue. So first, yeah. we're going to go into the Chinese qualifiers, which have the tiebreakers, and then the first round of the playoffs and the second round of the playoffs. Okay. And then uh, we're going to go on to the European playoffs, which have the winners bracket finals first. Oh, they're going to be. That's going to be some good I believe they games. start at 5 p.m. Yes. If I'm uh, correct. CEST. 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 Yeah. And then uh, we're going to be having the, the lower bracket 
last no round. So the deciding match for who is also going to go to the Frankfurt so Major. So who is that? So we've got, it's the first game's going to be what, Liquid versus, no, that's no, no, no. the lower bracket. No, 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 sorry, the higher bracket, no, sorry, it's, it's going to be NIP versus Liquid. No, the first one. So NIP versus Monkey Business. Sorry, Liquid are yes, already out. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for giving you Liquid fanboys false hope. They're already out. They're going home. NIP versus uh, Monkey Business. And then Alliance versus the loser of that one. It's going to be uh, interesting. By the way, a draft really one cap will be cast in the first series in the morning. Okay. So uh, definitely tune into that. And that will be at 4 a.m. So you have to I wake hope Andy up knows. Does he know he's coming in at 4? I hope he does. I hope he does. Draskal, <laughs> if you're watching this, you know you've screwed up because you should be sleeping, mate. Yeah, you should. You should be sleeping. So go to bed, Draskal. You've got to be here at 4 in the morning. We won't, we won't accept any latecomers. Nope, no latecomers. They get kicked. I don't know from what, because we need them, actually. Nah, so. it's all right. We can, we can get Draskal 2.0. We won't miss him. I'm joking, Andy. I love you. <laughs> and as I said, if you're watching this, go to bed. Go okay? To bed. Stop watching, Please. Andy. So uh, then we have, after that, yeah. nothing. We uh, might actually, depending well, no, on. We've got the stuff the next day, some more Chinese. Yeah, there's more Chinese but games in the tomorrow. morning. Yeah, the more, there's more Chinese the morning after. There's the morning of the 14th. There might be some more American games. If the games go quickly, we might be able to fit a series in, perhaps, yeah, like perhaps, we have today. Depending on yeah. when the last series of Europe end. Yes, and of course, yeah. on the 14th in the evening, we'll be back with our regular show of Dream League. Yes, the We're same day that I'll be up in the morning, four o'clock, to cast some Chinese games. So and I'll have be some mercy. Sleeping on. in the morning. It's going to be good going to be good. God damn it. Sleeping. But uh, yeah, one day of Dream League and then there's a break before we do the rest of it. But that one day, yes. there's going to be a very special guest. So do look yes. forward to that. We're going to have a very, very exciting time and some, some pretty good games as well. That should be uh, coming up on Dream League. We've had some Definitely. great games so far in the series. So look out for that. But but of course, yeah, as you said, tomorrow, some massive games. Yes. I'm sure people are going to be excited for and that stuff. And before we go, before we let you guys yeah. go, um, be, sh be sure to check out facebook.com slash RG Nordic to participate in the competition to one on Aces motherboard, which is behind my feet right... Nope, not there. There we that go. That one, that one. The perfect footrest. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. And uh, you can do that by typing in your favorite hero. Not your favorite hero. Your favorite... The your most value, the most valuable okay. hero okay. of these qualifiers. Who's deciding the winner of the qualifiers? I believe it would be our guest. Oh, okay, on the day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. He's, he'll have a good answer. He I will. hope he I will. He, they're going to think of something yes. fantastic. So. And you also have to put in your motivation of why you think that Hero is the most valuable hero of this qualifiers. Um, mm. Also, I mean, we're not casting Cloud9 versus Digital uh, Chaos. We're not. But if you want to be kept up to date with all the scores of Dota going on that's not covered by us, be sure to get the Score Esports app because that is amazing. You can keep be kept up to date with basically everything. And you can find it, of course, in your App Store or Google Play or wherever no, people buy apps And from. it is actually decent. I actually, I downloaded it in the past. You know, I've seen other places advertising. And I was like, normally with adverts on things, you're like, it's for stuff that you're never really going to use. But you check it out and I was like, it's actually pretty it's decent. Actually pretty it's useful. actually not that bad. I mean, I know no. there's a lot of people wanting it's to check Dota on the, on the Fly. I, I normally when I when I'm in the Netherlands and yeah. I'm, I'm traveling somewhere, you know, I try to watch Twitch streams on my phone to see the scores, and you know, you have to zoom in for the scores. But if you just go to the to the Score Esports app, then you know you can see that there. It's you not bad. It makes you, you it, it makes you feel very professional as well. Like I, I always yeah, feel like I should keep date. up with news. You know, I, I don't read many newspapers or anything, but with this, I can have this smart app and yeah. be like, oh, yes, yeah, so I'm just checking out will, some eSports. Yeah, your, your boss will see, like, if you're looking at the app, it doesn't actually look like a gaming app. No, so you can just actually like, say, oh, yeah, I'm just, just checking, checking out the stocks yep. at the moment. Yeah, uh, VP, oh, currently rising. Oh, team Secrets dropped a bit. That's yeah, good. We can do that, too. But no, it's, it's not a bad app. And I'm actually saying that. They're not paying me any money. They should be. The score, you know, I'll give you my bank, you know, my IBAN. And you you, you made a funds. mistake there. What? If you wanted the score eSports to sponsor you, you have yeah. to say the score eSports. Oh, I can't just say the score? Yeah. Oh, is there something else called the score? The score is an awful app. The score eSports, on the other hand, that's the app you should be getting. I don't know if there's a... I don't know why we're effort. talking about this so long. <laughs> we're kind of setting out here. I feel um, we should go home. I think uh, I, I just heard a yeah. snore in my in my ear because uh, our I think producer just fell asleep. asleep. Yeah. I think he's it's lacking late. a couch though because I, I know yeah. that the chairs in production are fairly uncomfortable, I think. Okay. So we're actually more comfortable, so that's why we can talk we all for We so can long. stay all night. Yeah. Martin, stop So what else do you want to talk about? <laughs> I can say stuff about Martin. He can't speak back to me, can he? No, he doesn't have it. You don't have an earpiece yeah, in. Yeah, I don't Sorry, have to Martin. listen to he the producer. He doesn't have an earpiece la, 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 la. Okay, we are going to let you guys go, though, because <laughs> it is time for us to go to bed as well to make sure that we can bring you the best coverage for you tomorrow again. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.
llamado Perú. 